2020, what a year it was. Even though it was not at all what I was expecting, like all of the paths that I have walked to this point, I do not have any sentiments of regret. I have managed to carry on through the days, the highs and lows, and made it to here, as we all did. I'm sending you guys all virtual hugs of love and hope you guys have a great New Year's. Thanks for sticking around with me. You guys are my number one priority and I will never forget that. Enjoy the last video of 2020. Hey you guys! I just took the most relaxing and hot bath. <laughs> Oh my god, my face is still red, but it was ever so relaxing. And yeah, for today's video, I thought it would be nice to show you guys how I do self-care, how I pamper myself. And now I do indeed have to cleanse my skin. Oh my gosh, it is so red. Anyways, but first, uh, since it's the end of the year, as a nice little, little treat, I thought I would show you guys kind of like what's going on in my bathroom. I never show you guys this part, right? So I did tidy up. It's not always this clean, all right? I will come clean with you guys. This is basically what I do like to use. So here I do have my lens case because I do wear lens. And then here we have the cleansers. So you guys know I love using the Bobbi Brown Soothing Oil Cleanser. It is my go-to when I have makeup on when I have super proof water. What? Super waterproof mascara on. And then this one is the Needly Mild Cleansing Gel. First of all, the package is everything. Also, I saw Arang. She's a dear friend, to beauty YouTuber who's beautiful. And she was raving about this. I was like, oh, let me try this. And so far, so good. But first, I just really like the packaging. And of course, I have my three of my favorites. This is a Rovectin Skin Essential Conditioner Cleanser. By the way, why are their names so long, right? Anyways, I love the formula. It's so gentle. I like to use these basically on my non-makeup days when I just have a little bit of sunscreen on and I've worked out. Of course, you guys know I love my Sunjang Whip Cleanser. I love pumps or sorry, I love foam cleansers that when you pump, it already comes out in a foam, in bubbles I mean. And then we have of course a new bottle of the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hem Pridewin Cleanser. Go support Crave Beauty guys, we love her. And then here on this side, uh, these are my hair stuff. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been asking for my hair tutorial. And yes, that is going to be included in this video. But just to share with you guys the products, I do have the, of course, the Healing Bird No Wash Ample Treatment. This is their latest upgraded version, but you guys know I love their products for such a long time. It is so easy to use. And then of course, I have the dry shampoo. It's a must, guys. It Actually, I'm almost done with this. Ooh, I should get a new one. The one I'm using is a Chlorine. This is Cooling No Sebum. So I heard that Chlorine products are more subtle, more gentle. And for me, I've used the Batiste the longest time, so I thought this wouldn't cut it, but it actually does a pretty good job. So I will be repurchasing this, and I heard that this is less, I guess, harmful in terms of ingredients. In compared to Batiste. And then for the another hair oil that I really love using is the Oribe Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. I do know that this is more of an expensive one, but I really love it. It is so worth the buck. So as you guys, guys can see, I'm actually almost done with it. There's only a teeny tiny bit left, but the reason why I love this product so much is because even though it's really nourishing, it's light. And then here we have our body stuff. So this is the Grown Alchemist uh, body cream. This has mandarin, rosemary leaves, smells like a dream. Then I have uh, Lush, of course. Lush is always sending me like PR products, which I am very grateful for. And so that means I do have a lot of products from Lush to go through. Um, this is their Pansy Body Lotion. It's smells amazing and it lasts a really long time on your body I must say and then this is my ultimate favorite scent this is the body shop Moringa scent I think this is already a really famous one though I've been using this for goodness gracious I want to say like 10 years 
I absolutely love this body lotion, especially the smell. The formula isn't, I guess, like really elegant. It's a pretty standard body lotion, but it's the scent and the longevity of the scent that just keeps on making me come back to it every single damn time. So I love this. Then of course we have the Keep Cool Blue Oil Serum. As I mentioned in my recent video, I love to put this on my hair. I like to put this on my neck, my face, and do a little bit of gua sha. So I like to put that there for an extra care. So back to cleansing. I must cleanse. I did put makeup on today. A lot of it got rubbed off while I was taking the bath. I was like really into it, just pouring water all over my face. Even I shouldn't have because the water was really hot so I'm all red now but I still have residue of makeup left so I'll go ahead and get started and use the needly cleanser it's very gentle and it does a pretty good job in removing my makeup so let me go ahead and use this and remove my makeup Alright guys, I just came back doing my skincare. Oh, by the way guys, I want to mention, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there is a little piece of square patch on, at the tip of my nose as you guys can see. And, and the reason for the square is that uh, Santa decided to give me a Rudolph nose for Christmas. <laughs> Being the good girl that I am, I literally had an acne at the tip of my nose and I'm going to insert photos here so you guys can laugh with me and see how ridiculous I looked. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. But anyways, yeah, I was Rudolph for Christmas, literally. So I didn't pick at it myself. So what happened was that it got really inflamed. And so I went to the dermatologist. As you guys know, it was one of my skincare mistakes that I learned this year is was to have the option, like take the option of going to see a dermatologist if you can. So I got a steroid injection, which hurt like F. Oh my gosh. Like I wanted to hit Santa right then. I was like, wow. And the dermatologist, she gave me a couple of days worth of medicine and it calmed down, but I still could see the acne like dangling at the tip of my nose, but I didn't want to do it myself because I knew I would mess up. So today, as a matter of fact, morning, I went to see the dermatologist and she popped it for me. And that's why she gave me a little uh, patch for the tip of my nose. Like of all the places, that is a cute spot. Not so cute when you're like socializing, but for quarantine, that's pretty cute, I gotta say, right? Right now, I'm going to share with you guys my uh, body skin routine. Actually, there's not much to it, but uh, during the winter, I do make sure to apply body cream or body lotion because I've noticed I've been getting like lines on my decollete and everything. So let me go ahead and do that right now. I'm actually naked inside, so of course I won't be showing you guys the whole thing. But, uh, how should I do this? How to film this, guys, without me stripping down naked? I usually strip down naked to apply the side. I don't think I should show this on camera. <laughs> no. As much as I love sharing every bit of myself, I don't... Yeah, no, I'll do this off camera. But yeah, I will be applying the pansy by Lush, like I said. See you in a bit. <laughs> Hey guys, it is currently 7.23 in the morning. Okay, I don't I don't have my phone to show you guys. And I thought I would share with you guys finally my hair tutorial. I know you guys have been requesting it for a really, really long time. And I know it's because my hair looks fabulous. So I'm actually on my way out. So I thought it was the perfect opportunity to kind of, I guess, film all the stages of how I do my hair. But to be honest, guys, I think... I've mentioned this before in a video, but I honestly think the reason why my hair looks so good is because I really changed up my diet. I changed up how I eat. See how shiny this hair is now? I didn't even, I didn't even use treatment or a conditioner. <laughs> this is just my hair with a bit of shampoo and oil and it looks so shiny, it looks so good. And like I said, I honestly think it's due to the changes in the diet that I've made for myself. For anyone who are wondering, I am using, for shampoo, I'm using the Mijang San Salon Plus Clean 10 Shampoo. I absolutely love this shampoo. I think I've been on a hunt for a really good shampoo and I've been kind of jumping from product to product. And I do think this is one of 
the best. Uh, it doesn't make my hair really oily fast. Some of the shampoos I use do that. Like I wash my hair one, one day and the next day it's already so oily. This doesn't do that, but it really does feel like it's cleaning out my hair. It leaves it feeling fresh without stripping my hair of all of its oils and hydration that it needs. And for the hair oil, I did go ahead and put on the Oribe Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. Like I showed you guys yesterday, I'm actually done with this now. I have used this to the last drop, almost. There's a couple, but I can't seem to get those. I want to mention um, there are steps to how I dry my hair. So first, I blow dry it upside down. And I've showed you guys this before, but the reason I do it is to really keep that volume in my hair live. Second, I then like to dry my hair using this big fat, Brush. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know what these are called guys. Gosh, this is an embarrassment But I like to straighten out my hair a bit and dry it extra using that and I think that extra process really helps my hair look shiny I think it just deals with the frizziness and makes it look straight It makes it look very put together my hair. My hair looks great guys So like I said, this is a curling iron. This is by Unique's I like it because the snap of it is still strong and forte. Some of the curling irons like have really loose snaps and it's, and get and that gets really annoying. I'm sorry, it's like seven. It's not even. Oh, actually, it's seven thirty in the morning. It's really early, guys. So I'm I I cannot think right now. So what I'll do <laughs> now? This is where it gets a little embarrassing because I gotta tell you guys, my hair curling skills are like zilch. Not I got nothing. So what I do, I just take a piece of, a strand of hair without eating it. So you take a piece of strand of hair and I snap it onto the curling iron. And all I do is twist, 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 twist. <laughs> I mean, but this is how you curl hair, right? I mean, like, so profesh, so, so profesh. But yeah, you can see like those curls are curling life. And I know a lot of people like to hold the curls in their hands and keep it so that the curls last longer but i like my curl to be a bit more natural so i don't do that and plus it gets really hot so it hurts okay and then for my front curls now this is where i'm really bad at like i really don't know what to do when it comes to my hair that falls next to my face so i think a little bit of that there we go it doesn't always come out this good, guys. Let me tell you that, guys, that much. So I know it's very tempting to grab a really large chunks of hair just so that you can finish it and like get it over and done with. Or is that just me? So there you have it. That's how I get my fantastic looking hair. I do have to leave the house. And actually today, I am going to take you guys with me in for a little surprise. <laughs> so let's go. Wow. 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 Wow.